So it's Friday the 24th of July 2020 and I've just finished the next section of my mandala mosaic project. I have just taken away the paper that has the sticky back plastic on it um, as my guide. Now the circle here were, is where the mirror will be and I just needed um, a base, uh, a, sh a plastic base, a shiny base, so that it would then be laid on with fiberglass mesh and so I could then work out the patterning. So I've just taken off this mesh away from the paper so that I can see what I need to do next. And what I need to do next is, with a very sharp standing knife, take and cut away the circle here and tidy up and cut away here. And what I might do is also cut away at this point with the Stanley knife and hopefully I'll be able to use that one piece, you know, apply and adhere in one section. So there'll be the outer circle and the inner circle. That way it won't misalign. And I've clearly marked the top of the mosaic. So here we go, walking towards where it will reside. So, and this is where it will be. Um, I kind of mapped out where it was going to be and I was going to originally direct apply using all the tiles and work all the way around the mirror. But I didn't like that because it misaligned. Um, by working on mesh, you have thinking time of how to change your design, add more tiles, take away tiles. Um, of course, I was a bit too previous sticking this down. So I've obviously had to measure what this is. This is 40 centimeters in diameter to the uh, and then measure out 40 centimetres in diameter for the inner circle. So um, I've given it enough wriggle room as well because I've put tile under, underneath this mirror so that I can then slot it underneath, you know, the mesh underneath there as well. So it'll go right across to here and right across to there in a big circular situation and with any luck it will work. So the next little filmette will be showing you what it looks like after I've applied. Um, it'll be too much of a handful <laughs> to do it work in action and all that kind of Karen like I did the peacock but you know it's gonna match with the babies on the ceiling and also on the wall opposite as well. There's going to be mirrors all over the place, really. So, yeah, so this is what the work looks like so far. Speak to you soon. Bye. So friends, I've just applied the, the tile adhesive Bowel Max Flex Fibre onto the wall and using a 6mm notch trowel. And now I'm just squeezing with a, the soft rubber float the mosaic onto the wall. So... I'm just going to very carefully do this without you watching. So I thought I'd just show you what it looks like so far. Okay. Right, I'm going to get cracking on with this. See you soon.
So friends, here we are. Uh, one more piece to install. What I had to do, this outer rim was far too heavy to install in one go, unlike the inner rim, um, probably because it was just too thin and I'm on my own. So I couldn't install it on my own. So what I've done is, is quarter it and it's easy as then to install it piece by piece. Okay, so it's Saturday the 25th of July 2020 and I am showing you what the world looks like so far. A little bit of a retrospective first, a little bit of a situation of what it looks like so far. Uh, you know, a few years ago I did this mosaic and it's in, in, you know, obviously brightly coloured, but I quite like the contrast of the brightly coloured to the more muted colours. Looks quite good, I reckon. So this is the mosaic all cleaned up now. Very nicely sitting. It looks quite impressive. It's funny how it's such an impressive size, you know, 44 inches across and yet it's in a small corridor. Ah, oh, I wish I had a wider corridor, but there we go, what do you do? Um, and then of course it's, uh, hello, hello. It continues with the ceiling mosaic and the wall mosaic. And then the medium size mirror, which looks fab and groovy. So with this being the larger mirror, I'm thinking of baby mirrors. So I'm going to put some 15 centimeter in diameter baby mirrors all the way down here, probably about four, maybe five at a pinch. I think it's about 35 centimeters across here. So I'm going to use some of these cut out shapes, these ready-mades, which you can get in a sheet. You can get them on, you know, on eBay and whatnot. Um, there's bits to cut off here as well, snip away. But the only thing I really did shape are these end ones. And the rest, it was a case of mapping and figuring and measuring out. So it looks absolutely right. So yeah, all happy with that. So all done and dusted. So find me on Facebook, Instagram, obviously YouTube and Twitter. And uh, tell your friends, tell everybody about Mango Mosaic's page. Okay then, see you soon.